this HANA database, we have a table that represents e-commerce sales for an online retailer that sells women's accessories. There are some fields here that are interesting to us for business analytics. For example, the customer's location, product pricing, category, deal campaign, and customer segment data fields set us up for some fascinating relationship discovery. In this example, we're going to go from a raw data set like this one to an incredibly insightful set of information products that reveal patterns we may have otherwise missed. And getting there is easier than you might think. The first thing we might want to do with the sales data is to take this sales category field and create a chart from it. The chart summarizes total sales for each unique category in the table. In this case, I prefer to use a column chart instead, and switching that view is as simple as a click. Insights can also take advantage of spatial fields in SAP HANA by constructing queries that are executed at the database level. Creating a map is as simple as click and drag. Now as the data begins to draw on the map, it quickly becomes clear that it's a bit too dense for us to explicitly see any patterns. Let's change the way it's displayed. Instead of looking at raw location, let's take a look at a density heat map instead. Now we've got a much better sense for how the data is distributed across the country. And to make things even better, the map is responsive to selections in the other chart. For example, we can look at the specific distribution of scarf sales simply by clicking on the bar chart. Now our sales data also included some customer segmentation data. Let's take this field and take a look at the segment profiles that occur most in this sales data set. A tree map is really helpful to visualize this. And we have now learned that the Gen X urban, affluent estates, cozy country living, and family landscape segments appear to be the most dominant. And as with the other chart, clicking on one of the chart's elements highlights the corresponding customer locations on the map. But perhaps the most interesting question to ask is really a combination of these two charts. How are the customer lifestyle profiles related to their product purchases? Can we identify these relationships? The answer is yes. By using the category and segment fields together, we can create a view that shows us how they interrelate. This is called a chord diagram. On the right, we see the lifestyle segments, and on the left, we see the product categories. And clicking on any of the individual chords allows us to interrogate the sales data in new ways. For example, if we want to try to understand the relationship between the cozy country living segment and sunglasses, we can click on the cord. Now we can see where in the country they are and understand a little bit more about how these people purchase our products. The ability to explore multiple categorical attributes spatially is incredibly powerful. And being able to understand the types of products that are most attractive to individual customer segments is critical for creating the right product mix and devising effective marketing and campaign strategies. Yet another dimension that we can explore in this data is time. By combining the same category field we've been using with the order date field, we create a timeline chart that allows us to see the distribution of sales by category over time. And like all the other charts in this workbook, we can interact with this timeline chart and see everything else, all of the other elements in the workbook respond. Now, the ultimate goal in all of these analyses and visualizations is really to better understand our customers so that we can create better targeted campaigns and ultimately increase profitability. We can also apply these same concepts to evaluate the efficiency and efficacy of campaigns that have already occurred. Let's take a look at an example. In the sales data, each sale is associated with a specific campaign. If we want to see the top campaigns of last year, we simply drag the campaign ID and create a table. This generates a count of sales per campaign ID. Since we want to see top performers, let's apply a filter. 
In this case, we really only want to see the campaigns that had at least 300 sales. Upon applying the filter, we learn that there are roughly nine campaigns that meet the criteria. We can sort the table to see them from best to worst, and we can now interactively view where, when, and who participated in each individual campaign. We built this workbook in a matter of minutes, and not only were we able to answer some basic questions that we had, we were able to discover new questions that we should be asking. And the best part is that we did this by leveraging the power of SAP HANA through an incredibly intuitive application like Insights. We can share this notebook with others in our organization, and inevitably, next year, we're going to have a new set of sales data, and we're going to run all of these same charts, maps, and statistics around that new sales data. Not only is it a system of discovery, but a system of shareable and repeatable discovery. And that's why we call it Insights.